Hey, what's up, guys? PC Man here. Um, I know I'm a bit late to the party. Uh, this card came out like two or three years ago, um, but I wanted to show you with you guys, anyways, just because every card overclocks differently and every card ha um, has different stability. Um, so, anyways, I'm using uh, MSI Afterburner to overclock my graphics card, and I have the um, two gigabyte version um, for VRAM, not the four gig. Um, and here we are. Um, these are the most stable overclocks that I could get um, with the game being able to run like perfectly, uh, perfectly smooth and no flickering or uh, screen color changes or anything like that or crashing. Um, I can still overclock it a bit higher um, it likes um, 125 offset for the core clock and 12 um, for the core voltage but it's not quite a hundred percent stable there and anything past the uh, anything past 100 for the memory it uh, pretty much uh, I get a lot of frame drops and stuff so um, I used Unigen Valley uh, to benchmark, and these are my scores. Uh, default being um, non overclocked at all, uh, just straight from the factory how it is. Uh, for average frames per second, I got 46.4, score of 1942, minimum frames is 24.4, and maximum frames of 84.3. Um, here, overclock one uh, was the first overclock I did um, and the scores for it uh, 48.2 2016 23.7 uh, 6 uh, was the first overclocking scores and for the second here um, it, this is my final overclock um, I get average frames of 48.7 a score of 2038 Minimum frames of 25.9 and a maximum frames of 88.1. Um, as you can see, having it overclocked, I for average frames I get uh, an extra two frames per second. For minimum frames, I get an extra frame, and for max, it's an extra four frames. So it it's not too too much of a whole difference, but on certain games it is. Um, Doom, I pretty much get a solid 60 FPS on ultra to high settings. Um, usually, I I usually put the the more important settings up higher, like uh, texture quality and particles and stuff like that, and then I usually um, uh, lower other settings that don't matter as much, such as shadow, reflection, um, and things like that. Um, but, um, the only time I ever got frame drops on Doom was, uh, when you get into the areas where you have to fight hordes of enemies, then I would get, like, five, five frame drops here and there every once in a while. Um, GTA 5 runs perfectly smooth uh, 60 FPS on very high everything settings um, and Mafia 3 runs about 35 to 40 frames or whatever um, and those were pretty much all the games I really tested um, after overclocking my card uh, the temperatures stay pretty good um, with Doom it's about low low 50 degrees Celsius um, are the terms for that game. GTA 5, uh, Mafia 3, and pretty much most other games uh, run at like the high 50, low 60 degrees Celsius. Um, so the temps are pretty good on that. Uh, I, I don't have a water-cooled system. It's, it's just all on air. Um, so... But yeah, um, this was uh, my overclocking of my card. Uh, if 
uh, if you guys don't have MSI Afterburner or Unigen Valley already, I'll have a link in the description below uh, if you want to go download those. And um, I hope to see you guys in the next video.